Hi, I'm Dan. And I'm Jocko. What we're going to talk about today is that the way you've been taught in school has been a lie. We learn not by just lecture and then taking a test, but instead 10% of learning comes from that form of reading or doing a lecture, 20% comes from actually practicing what you just learned, and 70% comes from actually doing it. Now, teaching is a form of doing, and this next exercise is how you can set up a role play to have your team help teach each other. So, Jocko, we're going to talk about the ring-ring exercise. What I want to do first is we've talk about, talked about a certain skill. In this case, it'll be active listening. So, what I want to set up is a role play where you are going to be the customer, I am going to be the salesperson, and we're going to show how this role play works by implementing a process, giving feedback on that process, and then anything that we need to do to adjust that. So in this scenario, you're going to be a VP of sales. I am calling in to you to sell a sales automation tool to help you ramp up. Now, this is the ring ring exercise that we're focused on for asking a close, open-ended question, and listening to what you're saying. So start off with ring ring this is Jocko to show that you're the customer picking up the phone. And then me as the salesperson, I'll start with the role play. You ready? I'm ready. All right. Ring, ring, this is Jocko. Hey, Jocko, this is Dan. I'm calling from Acme Sales Automation Incorporated. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. How about yourself, Dan? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. Now, the reason for my call is I noticed that you're growing your sales team by 20% this year. Did I get that right? You got that right. Now, I also speak to other VP of sales just like you who are struggling with focusing on their ramp. How are you implementing that ramp process today? Great. So what you see now here, Dan role played this. But what you find is he talked a lot. I only said a few words. So here's our coaching saying is if you're a coach, you say, hey, loved it, good energy. But what we find is you talked a lot, I talked a little. So now Dan needs to start learning how to get me to talk. So we're starting all over again. Ring, ring, this is Jocko. Hey, Jocko, this is Dan from Acme Incorporated. How's it going? I'm doing good. How about yourself, Dan? I am doing great. Hey, I saw your inbound request about learning more about ramping up your sales team. How can we help? Um, sorry, who is this again? This is Dan from Acme Incorporated. Okay, so now Dan showed that he did his research, right? And he asked me a question. But what question he asked was what we call an open-ended question. How can we help? I, you know, like I got this brand new stranger on the line. Do you really think I want to start giving intimate details? So what we now see is Dan is going to use what we call a closed-ended question followed by an open-ended question in order to unlock me. Now, a closed-ended question you can recognize simply by saying, did you have a great weekend? The moment in time I say, yes, I had a great weekend, then the question is, oh, what made the weekend great? This combination of closed and open is one of the most powerful sales tools that you can use to start a conversation. And mind you, we are not starting these conversations with an attempt to sell the stuff that we have on a truck. We're starting these conversations in an attempt to learn what the customer's problems are so we can help them. Okay, so Dan is now going to show how to ask a close-ended followed by an open-ended question to start this conversation. Ring, ring, this is Jocko. Jocko, this is Dan from Acme Incorporated. The reason for my call is I noticed you came inbound looking for a ramp information. Did I get that right? Yes, you got that right. How are you currently ramping up your sales team today? Okay, we're currently ramping up XYZ. Now what you see, closed, followed by an open-ended conversation. And this is the trick to starting a good conversation quickly. Now, what we recommend with these, with, with these role plays is that in generally you apply these for how many minutes a day, Dan? 10 to 15 minutes, especially for high velocity sales team that are just cranking out those phones. The key here is practice. And I loved how you gave me feedback first on the process. Hey, you asked an open-ended question first, try it again, close and then open. And then you gave me feedback on that process. Okay, you got that part right. Now what we need to do is optimize the types of questions you're asking there. Now, by 15 minutes a day, I want you to understand for four days a week minimum, they essentially are getting warming up. And let me ask you this. If they're not role playing on each other and learning from that, guess who they are practicing their pitch on? Now, this is a key concept of the learning process. Because we're role playing, and we could do this in a foursome where, where two more people are added, we essentially are, ex are learning faster and faster because all four of us are role playing. And that is the key to this ring exercise.